Steelers 85 Network. Every year, the National Football League holds its college player draft to infuse new blood into the league, but that's not really where the players start. Lynn Cullen went around to find the true grassroots of future NFL players. Now, uh, I don't know, but I suspect Jack Ham or uh, Jack Lambert here didn't take violin lessons when they were kids, because if you want to be a football hero, you can't waste any time fiddling around. You've got to start young. We're on team! Set! Hot! Hot! It's Thursday afternoon, and the St. Bede's JVs are readying themselves for the season opener this weekend. What if it's a 21? What do you think happens? 21. Think. Take your time. 21. Football might be in their blood, but getting it in their heads, well, that's another matter. Steve, Steve, come on. Ah. The groan belongs to this man, Coach George Smith. They don't want to learn anything. They just want to get out and play with it. What's the matter? Nothing. You're not into this or what? No. Let's go then. Come on. George must operate on a shoestring, often literally, constantly offering encouragement. That's it, Liam. Pull him down. Pull him down. That's it. Good job, buddy. Way to go. Way to go. Good job. Sometimes offering consolation. I just get the rock that really dries up my hand. You're okay. It's a little, it's a little scratch. Just like you fell off your skateboard. He's got just 16 boys on the team this year. Cut! Hut! Hut! Well, 17 if you count Frankie. Hot side, hot side, Fitz. All the way up. That's it, that's it. His name is Frankie Del Grasso Jr., a 35-pound walk-on from across the street. He's always here and everybody loves him. He's always, once he get into drills, he gets right in line with everybody. Back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Okay. Wrap your arms. Go, go. Keep going. That's it. Drive, Frank. Drive, Frank. Okay, Frank, good job. Way to go, Frankie. Frankie's a fixture here, a half-pint hanger-on who wormed his way into their hearts and onto their field. These nine- and ten-year-old JVs are towering giants to Frankie, who is, after all, just five himself. Sometimes at practice, things get a little too rough for a pre-rookie runt, so Frankie and his fertile imagination are left to take on phantom football players. Okay? On two. Okay. Go. And finally, when the sun is setting on the boys from St. Bede's, it's time for all tough and tuckered out teammates to turn toward home. Joining us now is a guy all suited up but has no one to play. No, it's the St. Bede's JV football team. I've reported on these guys before. I remember. You do? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I first introduced you to the boys from St. Bede's five years ago. A junior varsity football team made up of nine and ten-year-old boys. They had lots going for them. They had spunk, they had spirit, they had a wonderful coach named George Smith, and they had some opponents to play, unlike their 1990 counterparts. The 1985 team also had something no other JV team had. They had Frankie. We're on team! Set! Hot! Hot! The St. Bede's JVs had just 16 boys on the team in 85. Well, make that 17. That's counting Frankie. Frankie Del Grosso was a half-pint hanger-on who lived across the street and who'd wormed his way onto their practice field. The nine and ten-year-old JVs were towering giants to Frankie, who was, after all, just five himself. And in his fertile five-year-old imagination, Frankie, of course, was bigger and taller, and he was really a JV. Okay. On two. Okay. So then I'd be pushing him in anyway. Exactly. If I'd be back there, too. Meet 10-year-old Frankie Del Grasso and meet the 1990 St. Bede's JVs. George Smith is still the coach. I want white shoelaces in this by Saturday, both of them. This year, though, George has 20 players on the team. Well, make that 21. That's counting George Jr. Okay, George, good job. Let's go. 49! So while Frankie has now graduated to the big time, knocking heads with the big guys, throwing passes, showing he can be a team leader, doing everything the big guys do. By the way, hi, Mom. 
and now it's George Jr. who's left to stand on the sidelines, stuck with his stick and his dreams. But the boys from St. Bede's have a problem this year. They have no one to play. I just think that team's really well. I think we can do it. But you see, they can't do it if they can't play. And they can't play because junior varsity schedules are set up when varsity schedules are set up, and St. Bede's has no varsity. So it's junior varsity has no games. No games, no scrimmages, and they come down to practice every day. Yep, that's because they might not have opponents, but they still have spunk and spirit and a coach named George Smith. Okay, good practice. Well, you got one less? Five. Got a headache? Yeah. I've had one since 7 o'clock this morning. <laughs> now, the good news is the St. Bede's JVs did find one opponent. St. Pius played them Saturday. But the bad news is St. Bede's has no other game schedules. But the team is still practicing every afternoon, still readying themselves for the fray, but afraid it won't come. Obviously, if you know a JV team that could fit another game into its schedule, it'd be real nice if they could give the boys from St. Bede's a chance to show their stuff. They got a lot of spunk. They sure do. They're, They're great. cute kids. They are. Thank you, Lynn. That is our